Welcome to America Needs Fatima's Children's Stories, engaging stories of faith for Our Lady's little ones. My name is Tonya, and I will be reading to you today about The Giant Who Became a Saint. Chapter 1. A Boy as Tall as the Sky Among the smooth blue hills of an eastern country lived a simple-hearted giant lad named Alfaro. Though he was four times as high and four times as wide as the other boys, that did not make him proud in the least. He played with them as good-naturedly as if he had been no bigger than they. Sometimes he would hold them at arm's length, one in each great hand. Sometimes he would toss them gently into the air. And when he was particularly good-natured, he would stand for hours at a time while they clambered up on his high shoulders. One evening, tired from these boisterous games, they all lay sprawled along the hillside, watching the stars come out and talking about the great men they were going to be. I shall be a shepherd, cried one, and roam the hills all day. And I shall be a barber like my father, shouted another. As for me, cried a third, I shall be a wine merchant and live in ease. But Afro never said a word. Afro, Afro! cried the boys, scrambling up and swarming over him. What are you going to be? But Afro held his peace. Then, suddenly, he sprang up, shaking them off like so many puppies. I shall serve, he thundered. I shall serve the greatest king in the world. The boys stared. But how will you find him? they cried. I shall walk till I find him, said Afaro, and I shall know him because he will be afraid of no one. Now that was a quick first chapter, but don't worry, we have lots more story to go. This tale is almost as tall as Afaro. Come back for chapter two to hear about how Afaro sets off on his big adventure.